it's Bridget. So today I have a haul and it's a very random haul. It's just things that I bought and acquired while I was on my recent trip to visit family in Marquette, Michigan. So I'll just jump right in. So the first two things are actually, uh, there's this town next to Marquette called Nagani and they have like five really awesome antique stores, like massive amount of stuff. And they have really, really cool stuff. So the first thing my husband actually got, um, it's these, they're like plates that were used to make like newspaper ads, like back in the day when they actually used this stuff to make newspaper ads. And uh, my husband's a writer and a graphics designer, so um, he's gonna keep these on his desk. And I think they're a really cool little knick-knacky conversation piece. So, got those. And the other thing we got while antiquing is this really adorable little book called Interior Decoration for the Small Home. And I'm actually going to do a series of articles on BrokeBabougie.com pulling from this little book. It's obviously from like the 40s or 50s or something, but just reading through it, there's actually some really good tips if you have a really small home and you're trying to make it um, well decorated and things. I'll just read the last little line because I think it perfectly like sums up the idea of this book. So the last thing it says is, so you need not be wealthy to have a house of which you are proud. You need only be thoughtful, energetic, and ingenious. There you go. So I'm going to do a series of blog posts on BrokeWabuji.com pulling from this little book that I found at a really cool antique store. All right, the next thing I actually got, uh, my husband's dad runs a secondhand book business. I'll link it below if you're looking for some really interesting books. Um, he goes to a lot of estate sales to buy the books that he'll sell um, online. And so I went to an estate sale with him the last day I was there and I found this old mug from the 70s and I live in California but we were in Michigan I just thought it was funny that I found this California mug while traveling and it's super old and really chipped but I still thought it was adorable it had a lot of character and it was 25 cents so what's not to love am I right so that's that um then I guess the next thing we went uh thrift shopping and there's a bunch of really nice cool thrift stores up there so I got a couple of things. The first thing is actually I'm really excited about. It's this, oh my gosh, it's this dress. It's just a little black dress and it's got a pretty deep um, V in the back and it's from um, the brand Silence and Noise. And guys, I paid a dollar for this dress. What's not to love? I'm pretty sure it was only worn like once, maybe. And it's in really good shape. There's no rips, no tears, no nothing. And who doesn't need a little black dress? It's perfect. And again, a dollar, guys. A dollar. That's what I'm talking about. All right, the next piece was actually mostly out of necessity because um, I packed light, like light layers, because I didn't know like what the temperature was going to be like, and it was actually much chillier than I anticipated. So I was actually going to get a hoodie because we were having a barbecue down by the lake one of the last days we were there, so I wanted to get a hoodie. Come to find out that the thrift store I was at, all jogging equipment was half off. So I got this sweater for 50 cents, and it's Michigan State, go Spartans, and not really a Michigan State fan, but I blended in with the locals while I was there, and I kept warm, and it was 50 cents. So I'm all about that Michigan State hoodie life, if you know what I mean. All right, the other two things I got at the thrift store um, are two hats, and the first one is this really cute, I'll put it on, this little cute knit um, skull cap, I guess you would call it. I washed it, I think it shrank. Oh no, guys. I just didn't want head lace, you know? So that's that. It's, I just thought it was cute for summer because it won't like make you hot or anything, but it's just kind of cute. And it was like a dollar because it was at the thrift store. And the other thing is this really fun snapback that says Mackinac Island. And again, it was mostly to just like blend in with the locals, but what's not to love about this hat? Don't worry, I washed it. No head lice. I also got this, actually this little yellow t-shirt that I'm wearing. I got that up there as well. It was like, I think it's American Eagle actually, and it was a dollar, so again, great finds at the Marquette thrift stores. Uh, this next thing I actually got at this little boutique that they had in downtown Marquette called Boomerang. If they have a website, I'll try to link it down below because the owners were super, super nice. And the store, um, they have actual vintage things but and then also things that are new but look vintage, if that makes sense. So I got this necklace that is actually made in Detroit. They make like hubcap necklaces with American um, auto companies. And it's actually like really heavy, but I just thought it was a really cool necklace to layer for the summertime. 
and I thought it was cool to get something like this in Michigan where, you know, those auto companies are. And yeah, it's really cool, it's really heavy, and the brand is Retro Agogo. Again, I'll link it down below, but there's that, and I thought it was really cool. All right, last thing. Last thing I got was actually given to me by my mother-in-law. She um, has a lot of tea, and this tea was actually brought to her by my sister-in-law from Canada. It's from David's Tea, which I think is in Canada. I don't know if there is one here, but it's the Chocolate Rocket Tea. You guys, this tea is so friggin' good. It's seriously like a dessert in tea form. I have a sweet tooth, and you don't have to add sugar to this. That's how good this tea is. Absolutely delicious. If I can, I'll link it down below life-changing tea that's what I'm talking about so that is it those are the things that I got on my recent trip to Marquette Michigan leave any requests for future videos down below thank you again so much for watching stay bougie and I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys